We visited Georgia's energy ministry to ask about a controversial energy deal made by Russia earlier this year. You talked about, you know, countries wanting to diversify their sources of energy, but it seems to me like right now what's happening in Georgia is the opposite. You're relying more and more on Russia for your energy needs and selling more and more of your assets and energy infrastructure to Russia. Uh, how do you explain that? Um, it might be discomfort, just having the Russian share of this, uh, at this extent in the energy sector. But we are looking uh, at this on a very pragmatic way. They need to follow the requirements of the Georgian legislation. Well, you say that uh, Georgia requires uh, energy companies to uh, follow Georgian legislation, but you've done nothing about the fact that the biggest oil company in Russia, Rosneft, has bought a 49% stake in a company which owns a major oil terminal in Georgia, Petrokas. Rosneft is also a company which operates illegally in the occupied territory of Abkhazia, doing exploration work and retail work. According to Georgian legislation, it's illegal uh, for a company to operate in the occupied territories. Why haven't you done anything to stop this? Actually, this was the transaction which not took the place within the jurisdiction of Georgia. If it would be the case of the Russian company illegally operating in the uh, occupied territory and at the same time trying to purchase any assets, even single 1% in the Georgian company, then it would be restricted because it would not be in compliance with the uh, legislation of the, okay. about the occupation. Rosneft bought 49% of this company through a company in Cyprus, but effectively it owns 49% of this major energy company in Georgia. And Rosneft isn't just any Russian oil company, it's yeah. the Russian oil company headed by Igor Sechin, who is a personal advisor to Vladimir Putin, the man who is currently in command of the military forces which are expanding Russia's control of Georgian territory. How can you sweep aside all of that and say that because the purchase happened in Cyprus, you can't do anything about it? Do you see how that looks to the outside world? Yes, actually, nobody is happy about this transaction. Definitely, because there potentially we might be seeing some threats, but what we can do legal, uh, illegally. So the government made the no, I mean, kind of explanations, government made, uh, expressed the no, no, not satisfaction of uh, this transaction uh, happening, and uh, definitely nobody is happy about it. The whole world knows what the Russian uh, impact, soft power, hard power, whatever the power they might be using, it can be directed to any neighbor. And we have experienced ourselves what this uh, power uh, might bring to uh, Georgia and to Georgians. Yet you've so done nothing about it. Uh, what are the instruments? Well, by withdrawing Which, the license of the company to operate, you might be able to make that transaction worthless. Uh, okay, if it's subject of license. Um, you could sanction Petrokas, the company that Rosneft bought a 49% stake in, uh, uh, and force them essentially to sell their stake to a more appropriate owner. I'm not sure whether this is the kind of... Uh, I just think uh, Georgia doesn't want to do that. It's not because Georgia can't do it. I get the impression Georgia doesn't want uh, to do anything. Okay, uh, desire is one thing. And actual implementation of this desire within the legal framework, this is another issue. Because it's Russian company, should we go for the just... Uh, um, some international instruments, we have to demonstrate that, that their operation is hindering the interest of Georgia. You don't, because the legislation already says that it's illegal for them to be involved in the Georgian market if they're involved in the occupied territories. It doesn't matter if they're behaving badly. If they are it's occupied just illegal. in occupied territories, yes. All right, well, I think the signal that it sends, um, you know, to Russia in particular, is that you guys can do whatever you want in the occupied territories. We won't touch you here in Georgia. We don't even have the tools to touch you here in Georgia.